Alcohol, what it does to your body. The pleasurable effects of alcohol are feeling relaxed, confident, sociable. It's easy to forget about the negative effects, such as slowed reflexes, reduced coordination, warped thinking, poor judgment, impaired memory, impaired motor functions, and much more. These negative effects occur every single time one drinks, even when just drinking a single can of beer. The more one drinks, the stronger the negative effects. Over time, the body becomes damaged from drinking, more damaged than you may know. Aside from damaging your body, alcohol use has been linked to depression, anxiety, societal withdrawal, violent behavior, increased risk of motor vehicle accidents, suicide, injury, domestic violence, and even drowning. As if that's not enough, alcohol does unbelievable damage to the body, and not just the brain and liver. Virtually every part of the body is affected negatively from alcohol consumption. When alcohol is consumed, around 33% of it gets absorbed immediately into the blood through the stomach lining. The remaining alcohol is absorbed more slowly into the blood through the small intestine. Once in the bloodstream, alcohol diffuses into almost every biological tissue in the body. When one consumes more alcohol than his or her body can handle, the person's blood alcohol level, or BAL, increases. How fast a person's BAL rises and the effect it has vary greatly dependent on a number of things, including weight, age, gender, body composition, general health, and the presence of other drugs or medications. The presence of alcohol in the blood at all will have effects on the body. A higher BAL simply means greater risk. Let's take a look at how alcohol affects various parts of the body. The amount of damage alcohol causes to the brain is incomprehensible. Serious sustained drinking can lead to Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome, a memory impairing, vision and speech affecting, seizure causing disorder. You won't be able to form new memories. You'll mumble involuntarily. Your eyes will twitch constantly. Drinking alcohol releases excess GABA and dopamine, two naturally occurring neurotransmitters. GABA is responsible for calming the brain down and dopamine is responsible for pleasure, a part of the brain's reward system. Too much of these neurotransmitters can lead to shortness of breath, high blood pressure, increased heart rate, night terror, delusions, hallucinations, spasms, and increased levels of both aggression and depression. Drinking also releases endorphins, which are similar to neurotransmitters except that they carry natural pain-reducing chemicals instead of messages. Endorphins are normally released upon reward actions such as exercise, eating, etc. Too much endorphin release can cause depression, low sex drive, low testosterone, infertility, and extreme fatigue, among other complications. Your liver is where alcohol gets metabolized if and when you drink more than one drink per hour on average. This would be considered extremely low, even for a casual drinker. The liver turns alcohol into something called acetylaldehyde. Acetylaldehyde is extremely harmful for human health and classified as a group 1 carcinogen, a substance causing cancer. Excess drinking causes the liver to accumulate fat, which can lead to fatty liver disease. A liver that has become clogged with fat cannot perform at an efficient level, which affects the rest of the body. Fatty liver disease, extremely common, can lead to inflammation of the liver, which is known as alcoholic hepatitis, which is more common than you may think. Excessive drinking, especially with alcohol hepatitis, can also lead to cirrhosis. Cirrhosis of the liver happens when liver cells become so damaged that they cannot regenerate. Once cirrhosis has occurred, if a person does not stop drinking, they will experience liver failure. Liver cancer is a common outcome of drinking with cirrhosis.
Alcohol consumption raises the risk for breast cancer. Researchers suggest that even so much as one drink a day may increase a woman's risk for breast cancer. Estrogen levels are raised when alcohol is consumed, and an increased estrogen level is a risk factor for developing breast cancer. Research consistently shows that drinking alcohol beverages can increase levels of estrogen and other hormones associated with hormone receptor positive breast cancer. It takes only three drinks a week for a woman to have a 15% higher risk of cancer. If that woman is 15 years old or younger, her risk is tripled. Alcohol does two bad things to your stomach. One is that it makes the stomach produce more acid than usual, which can cause gastritis. And two is that alcohol creates irritation and inflammation in the stomach lining, which can lead to ulcers and bleeding of the stomach. If and when the stomach lining becomes torn, it can lead to anemia. Stomach pain after drinking alcohol could also be a sign of chronic cholecystitis, a condition of the gallbladder. Excessive alcohol use is a common cause of pancreatitis, or inflammation of the pancreas, and is a major risk factor for pancreatic cancer. Heavy drinking also impairs the pancreas's ability to produce insulin, which can lead to diabetes. Heavy drinking can be very hard on the heart. It causes cardiomyopathy, which is stretching and drooping of heart muscle. And it also causes arrhythmia, which is irregular heartbeat. When alcohol is consumed, it raises blood pressure and blood lipids. This increases the risk of heart attack, hypertension, raised cholesterol, and stroke. Excessive drinking can accelerate the rate of bone deterioration and increase the risk for bone fracture and osteoporosis. Calcium is necessary for strong, dense bones and when alcohol is consumed, it acts as a diuretic and flushes calcium from the bones, making them weaker and more susceptible to fracture. Alcohol affects the central nervous system, causing many short-term effects like slurred speech, blurred vision, weakened muscles, decreased reaction time, and impaired memory. When alcohol is consumed excessively, it can cause cell damage in the central nervous system, creating a condition known as neuropathy. Neuropathy causes altered feelings of weakness, burning pain, and numbness in the feet and hands. Alcohol consumption, whether excessive or long-term, or both, causes what is known as adenomas in the colon. These are tiny and benign tumors and are harmless at this stage. However, adenomas can develop into polyps, which are larger and can be precancerous. Alcohol is not friendly to the body. While you may think its effects fun, your body does not. Alcohol poisoning is rampant and more than 10 types of cancer can be caused by excessive drinking. Imagine a train track divided into two sets of tracks ahead of you. The train is you. The tracks represent your different choices. The first set of tracks leads you into disease and sickness. The second set of tracks is the opposite. They lead you into far higher probabilities for health and well-being. Which set of tracks will you follow? For more information, contact us at the Institute for Addiction Study. The link is in the description.